Let's look at what's actually in data citation core elements. Um, author, pretty, pretty standard data for, for data sets, obviously the data creator. Release date, when the particular version of the data set was first made available by others. Now some actually talk about that in different ways. Is it when the raw data was available, when the analyzed data was available, when it actually was deposited in um, a repository? So uh, sometimes you, you might see more than one date, but for, for this point of view I would have said when it's actually made available um, and cited in a repository. The title, of course, the version, very important. The archive or distributor, and that can be the data repository or it can be uh, the creator's organization if they haven't actually um, deposited it within a, a known trusted repository. You need a locator identifier and of course we've just talked about um, DOIs, handles, URIs um, that can resolve to the location and the data in question. Now one of the things that is here is access date and time and the problem with this um, it's the time that I have a problem with, but it's, it's actually in there because data can be dynamic, it can be a living data set, and people are actually, and it will change over time, so, uh, change over time, but change over um, periods, and so you're actually having to define the exact date, but the exact time as well, right down almost to the second when you use that data so that they can know to go back to the data set and be able to find out when it was online. No, there is, that has not been there and I, I'm, funnily enough, I was involved in, in some format uh, discussions and because you have this training in bibliogra bibliography, you, you tend to think, well, we need pages, we need bytes, we need something to say, is it a big data set or not? No. I tell you what isn't there, and it's my favorite, and I've actually put it into the citations, is media type. Now, for data citation, we're just talking about that at the moment. It's obvious that we're talking about a data set. But when you've got a lot of citations in a bibliography, and you can have titles that look very similar to uh, each other, they look like a publication, particularly if they don't have a DOI or anything like that. And so I tend to put after the title or the version square bracket data set, just as I do with web page. I like it, but we can have a look and you could discuss it and tell me that I'm totally wrong. But you can always add additional fields. You, you're not restricted to these. If you want to put a citation in that has more and you want to offer it, then there's no reason why you can't do it. And of course, the more information, the more it's discoverable. You've got to accept that. So here's a, a citation at the top there. And you can see I put data set in it. What we've got is the author, the title, the version. I've put in the media type. The year of publication release date, i.e. the day it went into uh, the repository, the IEDA. The publisher is probably the repository or the archive, but it could be your organization. Um, and then the URL, the OI, URI, whatever persistent identifier you're going to use. And I've seen both of these formats, but they're live links anyway and they, they work. Access and date time. Well, if your machine gives you that information, you would put it in. But if your machine doesn't give you that information, then you tend to just put your, the day that you accessed it. But after, there, I actually did go and look at the um, HANEL um, paper, that was telling us about 25%. And it gave me the time, uh, GMT time, I have to say, and that wasn't my time at that point. But it told me the time that I actually accessed that record. I suppose. So what we've got there is a, a, a nice, a nice data set. It's not too onerous. It gives you all the basic elements. What we've got down here, and I am seeing this more and more and more, is the very minimalist uh, citation. 
is just the author, the year, the title, the version, and the DOI. Nothing more. It's not, it's not even going to tell you where it's held, because this resolves to the metadata, to the landing page, and it tells you all the information there. So people are saying, well, we don't need to do all this work up here. There's one uh, without a unique identifier, in a sense, uh, it's somewhere that I used to work. Um, it's a similar sort of thing. It, it doesn't have a DOI, so you actually can't put one in, so it's not applicable. So what we've tended to do with that is to use like a book reference, a monograph. You put the author, the year, the title, put that it's a data set because it could be a report, actually, if, uh, if you didn't put that. The place of publication, the publisher, and when I accessed it. There is another point, is uh, this one here, at the top one, it was in 1986, the Institute of Oceanographic Sciences, and this will happen to a lot of you, I'm sure, because name changing of organizations is so prevalent. But it's actually now the National Oceanography Centre in Southampton. So if you want that data, you have to go to the National Oceanography Centre in Southampton, and I know that. And I accessed it in 2000. And in 2000, we were at Southampton. But the data was collected when it was that organization. So the citation goes to the original organization. And in a sense, if you don't find the Institute of Oceanographic Sciences on the web, <laughs> you'll do it, um, it, it may tell you that it became Southampton and the National Oceanography Center. So that was a query when I started doing these things. So now a little bit of work, not long, five minutes at the most, just to formulate a citation for this data set that you looked at yesterday. Assume you looked at it yesterday. That's the URL. Now, it, on, the course, um, on the course page, um, if you click on exercise data citation one, uh, you should be able to get to the, something that looks like this. And you may be able to click through to the record and see it better too, unfortunately. So I'll just give you a few minutes to do that. <laughs>